my learning would be is when you before you start going into it, uh, give us because you're, you're you know you don't call yourself a technician, but you are directional. Give us your technical opinion first. You know what I mean, and and segment that, uh, uh, and then uh, this way we know your directional bias, and then you can just go into your options plays uh, based on that. If you see anything, if not, we move on. Does that make sense? That's fine. Yeah, I I don't mean look. I don't mean to like you know steer you or control you. Just that I want to. I you know I go down rabbit holes, and uh, and and uh, I love it when people keep me. Uh, 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 on focus and your technicals are very important to your options. Uh, and, uh, I think they should, th th that's not a bad idea to lead into them as we get, and then we can get into the real meat of the volatility spreads and what you think should be going on. So GE us, man, I'm all, all into right. it. Uh, GE, I'm looking, I, I just think, what was the low? 670 roughly? Let me pull it up. I think it's 671. Yeah. The low is 670. The low is, Low is so we're on the technician side. All right, we got a, a the low print. Okay, if this I don't know if this matters to you, but the low print is six sixty seven. The low close is two days later of six seventy one, and that's in the December uh, December eleven December December ten and December twelve time frame. Still there? Might have lost Tom. Uh, ah, I see that he's muted. Hang on. Dead air is always good. He might have hit that. Uh, dead air is always good. It gives you time to think. Yeah. So Chicago, everyone, while Tom's coming back. Right. Short Chicago. I'm not anti the city. I love it. But after 50 to minus 50 degrees, no jobs and a negative pension, just pack it up and move to Tennessee because it ain't about cows. It ain't about pigs. It ain't about grain. It's about weather these days. And uh, well, forgetting even the weather thing, you know, what basically also what your story was saying, they moved Chicago was so big for the, the floor, the 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 trading and the pit. And that's been gone now for over a decade. And the housing market, especially in those suburbs, is really feeling it. You know, uh, uh, I can speak from very personal experience, knowing people in Glencoe right. and uh, a couple other townships in the area. And uh, it's funny you say that. My last trip out there, my last trip out there in the, in the warm weather, uh, actually, let me just speak directly to what you're saying. Um, uh, uh, the finance jobs, right? First, the brokers lost their jobs because of electronics. And then uh, uh, the traders start to lose their jobs, but they're still situated there because it's kind of like the money center. But now the CME, to your point, uh, now that it's basically rolled up all the exchanges, isn't really a Chicago firm anymore. It's a global network. It is a decentralized product, you know, Globex, et cetera, et cetera, buying pieces of BMF Bovespa uh, all, over, all over the country. So, so, to your point about how that's affected the suburbs, it's kind of interesting. Uh, uh, in some in some areas, it's affecting everyone. But if, but just getting to the nitty gritty, in some areas, it's definitely had an effect, and in other areas, they've kind of held up because they don't they don't quote. And I'm talking about the New Trier uh, School District. Uh, the quote was, "We don't take state money," and because we don't take state money, uh, uh, they've They've held up uh, relatively well. Uh, New Trier, uh, T R I E R, if I'm saying it right, Winnetka, those areas. But but uh, if you take state money, right, you're beholden to them, and uh, that's going to make your, uh, you know, it's kind of like Greenwich, Connecticut. I don't know. Uh, Four million dollar houses are trading for one point seven right now. I'm sorry. Say that again. Four million dollar houses are trading for one point seven right now. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, that's a scary number to hear. Is that is that is that based on geography? Tell me where that is, roughly. Uh, I mean, I'm just throwing out generalizations, but that is uh, in those suburbs that you were mentioning before, those Glencoe sort of things. 
they're down significantly, especially the, you know, look, the 500,000, 800,000, those are probably doing fine. But the more expensive places that people were living in that were living off of trader salaries, things like that, oh, I mean, absolutely. are now I, significantly, significantly down. I, I, I can't disagree with that at all. I, I was referring to the uh, 750 to, to $2 million price range, but that 4 to $5 million price range, look, I have a friend uh, who manages a, a, a multi-billion macro fund in Connecticut. And uh, in Greenwich, and uh, uh, the guy who founded the fund, you know, he's sixty-five, gray hair. He just moved to Florida, and he still owns it. And he still runs it. Uh, but my friend is running the fund now, and he's, you know, he's about fifty-two. And we joke about it because it's like the generation of fund managers, you know, they're leaving New York and going to Florida, lower taxes. Uh, I think our man is back. Chicago. If they haven't shut head. down, they're at least they're divested of their risk. What, and what and that's to your point. And that's to your point. So uh, the top end's really going to get. Here's what just happened to our 2 p.m. Uh, our, our 2 p.m. webinar on options. Our star quarterback, Tom McEntee, got sacked, <laughs> got sacked, and they put him into concussion protocol. <laughs> and now, luckily, he passed concussion protocol, and he's back, guys. He's back on the field. <laughs> I was in a blue tent for a while, fellas. Uh, Tom, 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 we were really, really making up all kinds of crap about Chicago. So you got to get us back on track here, please. Uh, everything I do, I make up. Come on. You kidding me? <laughs> exactly. exactly. Um, Let's not get the truth get in the way of a good story, right? No, you don't want that. You don't want that. That's definite. Okay, let's talk um, GE. The low was 670 ish. 672. Right I think the high in the year was 15 spot 60. 670 to 1560. I could see the stock maybe get to 1165, somewhere in there. Okay. Uh, you know, you're looking at it, there's two ways you can play this thing right now because I think um, 10, I'd pay 60, I'd pay 15 cents, dollar 60. Well, what's your preferred yeah, I, thought? I, 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 would, I would look at, I would, my, my first, my, at first blush, I would, I would look to buy the April. They don't have April 12s listed yet. That's what well, I. Think. While you're looking those up, uh, I'm looking at a chart. So when you're looking at the uh, the low of the year and the high of the year, and, and you're about to form an opinion, because your time frame for options, you know, can be 30, 60, 90, 180, depending on your thing. What it what is your preferred chart to look at? A daily, a weekly, a monthly, an hourly? Like what? Oh you know, no, I like I like I look at a yearly chart. You know, daily. You know, no, a daily chart, chart daily per year. Price. Yeah, daily right? short for a year. Daily yeah, candles cool. or daily whatever. Okay, yeah. cool. Because I, I want to have that up in front of me while I'm, while, I'm, while I'm listening to you. So, I mean, for GE, I'd like to, I, I, I like the uh, April, March 11 call spread. Regular way April, regular way March. Buy April, sell March, pay, pay 18 cents. Pay 17, let the stock come in a little bit. Stock runs up towards 11, you know, it's going to be worth uh, probably 30 cents. So you can size, you can, you can trade decent size there. You're dealing with small notional amounts, obviously, 50 cent to 30 cent options. So I think you can size it up accordingly. I, I like that spread for a look up to 11. Okay, well, give me the strike. Give me the strikes again, please. April, regular way April versus right. regular way March, 11 line, 17 bid, 17 cent bid. So you're a buyer of time. You're buying April, so yes, yes, okay. yes. All right. Um, um, okay, it's not a diagonal, it's post earnings. Uh, what's a side? So now we know your directional, your directional uh, uh, potential, right? Um, uh, is there anything about the vol curve? Uh, yeah, I think. With, yeah, I think obviously when you, the volatility has come, has come in dramatically, right? The, the thirty-day right. stop trading around forty, up from you know down from uh, you know, obviously at the extreme, probably close to eighty. But uh, are you sharing your screen? Um, I'm, having, I'm having difficulty with that. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Wasn't a TV show when I was a kid? Zoom, zoom. zoom. Yes, Morgan Freeman. Oh, he was on it, really. Wow. Morgan Freeman got his start on Zoom. Yeah, oh. they remember Spider Man coming on there. Zoom was the best. I had such a crush on this uh, this little Chinese or or, or Jap. She was an Asian girl. I don't know who she was. But I had such a crush on her. But uh, uh, but Morgan Freeman was the man. That's where he got his start. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, look it up, man. He's the guy who be. be, be Wait, 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 wait. I'm wrong. I'm thinking the I'm thinking the electric company. Wrong. I did have a crush on some Chinese girl on Zoom. But yeah, the electric company was uh was uh was Morgan Freeman. My bad. 
that's quite all right. That's quite all right. Um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm down. My Zoom is uh, clipped to. Let's go. What are we doing here? So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, got it. Cool. Put up G. This is. Uh, so you may. Uh, April, regular way, April, April 15th expiration. I think that's April 15th. And Tom, while he's doing that, can I ask you a question about the uh, term structure? Are we yeah, backward? Sure. Are, is yeah. there any backwardation left in GE right now, or is, or is there still, you know, or no? Uh, I don't think so. Hold on. I, I, let me not. Uh, well, pretty, you don't think so. It's, 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 it's pretty flat. All right. Roughly. But flat. And, and no yeah. Way. But it's, interestingly enough, you can buy. You can and you can buy you can buy April and sell March. I mean, it's flat volume. You're encompassing. Right. So you it may not be backwardated, but it's certainly not a steep contango. No, 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 not, not at all. Yeah, it's not backwardated. It's kind of flat. Um, you know, I would think it would probably revert to maybe it reverts to contango. I don't know, but I think you can buy the earnings month against the uh, against the March April be the earnings month, and you can do that. No, no worse than flat volume. So I like that spread. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, Mike's got the, the options ladder up for you. Can you see it? Um, moment, Tito. Moment, Tito. Oh. Are you on the live stream? Okay. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Yeah, so I would do something like, I would do something like that. That's what I like in GA. Uh, what else do you have here? Got to love when Tom calls J and J, Johnny. J. Yeah, that's right. I don't know. It's an old time thing. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, J and J. What was the other one we liked? What, 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 what they wanted? Amazon. Now you got to realize, I, I I trip over myself when we get past three digits. So, I mean, do we have a? Um, are you there? Hello. Yeah, are you doing Amazon? Okay. Yeah, tomorrow expiration, 2039. And then after that, let's do the uh, NEP chart. New England Patriots? Yeah, you know it. <laughs> we want to uh, talk about the game on Sunday, maybe trade some options on it. Um, boom, 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 boom. Let's try one. That's... Amazon, 1639, 1727, 1393. Okay, now in Amazon, so what's that roughly five and a half percent, roughly, is that about right? Uh, okay, so look, I, I can't, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I'm probably dead wrong, but I can't look up in any of this stuff right now, not in this thing. This thing's right. up, uh, it's like the SPX, look, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously wrong, but. Uh, We'll see how it plays out. The game isn't over. Um, I, I, I want to look lower at any of this stuff. But if I, I just want to, you know, does this, we have a target on the downside. I mean, could this thing go down 5%? 5% puts it down roughly 95 bucks, right? Like the 1630 line, something like that. 1630 line, that's a $12 put. Uh, You know, I, I want. Here's here's the deal. I, I think you can you can you can do some put put spreads in here. I want to look way down. I do I do not want to have the thing overshoot me if I'm right. And so I don't want to I don't want to be right and still be wrong. You follow my logic, where I where I where I don't price it correctly. So if I sold a six ten put, the sixteen ten puts at roughly eight bucks. Yeah, yeah, here's what I, you know what I like? I like the next week's 16, next week's 1600s, this week's 1610s. Buy next week, sell this week, like a $5 debit. So obviously, look, it's like 50 cents on a regular way stock. So it's obviously, unlike GE, this is very expensive, high notional value, size it accordingly. Okay. I like that spread. You, you, just, you just need this. Look, depends on how you look. If, if, you, get a, if you get an immediate reaction, Stock could be down hundred bucks. That's a home run, right? 
Stock trades down to 16 and a quarter tomorrow. You, 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 the puts you short are rip ups, and you got a you, you got a game with the 1600s for the next week. I think that's a play. Five dollars. If, if your normal slice is 50, you do a five line here because it's a five because the debit so the debit is obviously daunting, obviously, right? Because I mean, it's a hard neutral value. So that's the spread I like. February 8, 1600s. Next this to tomorrow's 1610s. These are puts. Buy February 8, sell tomorrow. Pay five bucks. Okay. That's Amazon. That's two. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Hey, Johnny John, this is the spread I have on. I'm telling you, it, it's been working. I've been unwinding it, uh, selling into this, selling into strength. I'm long the April 40, Feb 35 call spread. I've had that on for a while, for probably December 26th, whenever we, uh, whenever we, whenever we were tapping out, I guess. Um, I think I paid 20 cents for it, 21 cents. I, but today, as a matter of fact, yesterday and today, today, yesterday I sold them. I bought the Feb 35s back, sold the March 135s, took in roughly 30 cents. And then today I bought more of the Feb 35s back and sold March 8, 136s, took in a quarter. No, I'm sorry, I took in 20 cents again. Okay, so I'm just rolling that spread up, protecting my April 40s. Okay, so now, essentially, I, I haven't taken them all back. I had to spread on 100 times. I'd taken back 50. So I still got 50 spreads, 50, 50 April, Feb spreads. And now I got 50 April, March spreads. So, right. so, so the 50 April, March spreads, I own for nothing, right? I paid 20 cents for April, Feb. I sold Feb, March for 20 cents. I own that thing for zero. So I got a free look into the stock. Look, you and I both constructive on it. We said that at 130 that we thought Vol was a sale. I mean, you know, right. Get different game now. I don't know if Vol was a sale anyway. I can't write it. You know, I don't well, know if I'm going to anywhere right now. But, I can give uh, you an impulsive comment, uh, 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 not about implied vol, because we know implied vol will come in at a rally. But uh, Johnson & Johnson, on a daily basis, and we've pulled far away from it, but on a daily basis, uh, above 130 spot 82, we should have two to three more days of rallying. Uh, uh, and, you know, this is, not tech, this is not a technical comment, but uh, – right. Uh, but it's it's basically an impulsive move. Um, uh, looking to get as high as uh, uh, technicals aside, one thirty six and change before pausing. But as you can see, getting into that whole that big down week candle is probably going to be a problem. We're just broaching into it now. But uh, yeah, it's it's a buy signal I got that I missed. I just just ran it's ran too fast. Anyway. Yeah, we've been, we've been talking about that for a, for a month though. So I, yeah, I, look, I mean, like, what was the target? I think there's a gap fill up at the one. Is it one thirty? I, I had one thirty six for three. Right? We we did identify. It. Hold on, let me find it. Let me find it. I know. I know. I wasn't making. I'm not making this stuff up. Not all the time. No, no, no. You, you know, you know, you tend to you tend to fill in some empty spaces in your memory with uh, with fantasy, but uh, <laughs> but, but who does? But who does it, right? Okay. Um, I, I, looking at the daily chart, you know, we might have just blown through these gaps you were talking about. Um, at the daily chart, we had a gap. Uh, we had a we had a gap. Uh, uh, these might, we we had like an island thing on the 18th of January. Uh, right. I don't know if that's technically a gap, but uh, we had an island there, and uh, and uh, the the gaps on the daily. Uh, come in on that on that 14th of December. Yeah, you know what I was looking at, Vince. You know what we talked about. I was looking at that high, the deck thirteen, the deck thirteen high of 147.80. Is that what it is? 147.80, roughly, give or take. Um, and uh, I had a low of 123. So I got 270. I got 135. That was my number. And that's why I targeted the. That's why I was selling the one. I was selling the 135 line, and rolling up. And I see it now. It was, it was again, so anyway, I had two months of freaking time at my back. So, uh, yeah, like, I, like I, I, I don't, I'm not going to get into a, into a contest with you. But this, this was my talk on the stock back, uh, way back when. So, I want to, I'd like to take in more credit and, and go out in time and protect my April 40s. Let's we'll see what happens and see, see if the game is, uh, whether the game is a foot. Right. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the game is a foot. Uh, <laughs> And uh, yeah, so that's the way I'm playing. I'm just trying to roll out tomorrow. It's like I just try to remain disciplined with this thing. I, I don't have a. Um, I just think 135. That was that's my number. Look, I, I'm not that exact. It could go to 137. I got no freaking clue. You know, I just everything. It's like horseshoes and hand grenades, right? You just want to get a little close. 
You know, I, I've come to grips a long time ago. You know, I, I think there's a generation out there that doesn't get what you're saying, but it's funny because it's like, I could say that to my kids and they're like, what does that mean, Dad? What's horseshoes? They don't even know the game horseshoes, you know, let alone, let, of course, they want to play with hand grenades, but, uh, you know. <laughs> Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Who doesn't? So, you know, I think I had 135 as a target, you know, I think I, you know, look, if I don't get the other half of those spreads, if it's great, we go out at 135 in the next two weeks, I'm, it's a home run for me. Perfect. That's, yep. that's, that's as good as I could ask for. As well as I could ask for. But I don't mind selling, you know, like I don't want to see the stock go back to 129. If I can get these spreads over at 20 cents, I don't think for nothing. That's the way I'm looking at it. You know, so I did. I, I think the heavy lifting's been done. You know, and this is where you want to like, you just kind of want to manage your, uh, manage your ups. It's not, it's not, it's a heavy position to be in, right? I wish all my stuff was that good. Uh, lately it hasn't been like the kind of fighting it and you know you gotta it's, this is when it's tough it's, it's, you, you prove your metal it's you know it's Larry knows it's Mike knows anybody out there knows who's been in the game long enough you prove, prove your metal when uh, things are going against you period end of freaking that's story right. that's how you find that's out who you are anybody, anybody can play in the sunshine tough to play in the rain I made that one up by the way that's pop, that's, <laughs> that's TM and that doesn't mean Tom Mack that stands for trademark uh, no you know <laughs> but, don't, but don't you remember the uh Anybody can play in the sunshine. It's tough to play in the rain. Yes, yeah. that's my <laughs> but no, I like that. But but and it's not. It's not. I don't mean to say but. I like that. It also applies in the inverse. You know, uh, 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 with horses. You know, uh, anybody can. Uh, uh, the mud. Re- anyway, forget it. We're going down rabbit holes here. Let's. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm about to take the bait. Um, uh, Super Bowl. Let's talk Super Bowl. Done. And uh, if Mike's still listening, he should join in because uh, I'm a tourist when it comes to football. I'm here, the- and I love the conversation. Let's do it. Super Bowl. This is what we talk Larry's, about. Larry's I'm- biggest fear is fading Tom Brady. He's faded Tom Brady. And actually, we equated it to Amazon. Tom Brady and Amazon, it's like, uh, you know, Amazon at $400. You want to fade it at $400, $500. But, you know, here we are. It, uh, you know, it's tough to fade. <laughs> right you are right you are um yeah look i i think the rams are the better team i think the wrong team is favored here i think this is this is recency bias run amok because they because they beat kansas city look i bet the chiefs wrong i made that game six i thought it was a steal in lane three but you got well, let's look at it you know let's look at that game in a vacuum could new england have scripted that for the first half of that game any better couldn't have gone any better i mean indeed i mean 22 to eight time, time of you know, 22 to eight time of possession edge. I think the, I don't think the Chiefs had 50 yards in total offense. They were completely stymied, completely shut down. Patriots got a 14 nothing lead, and it's the Patriots with a 14 point lead. How many times did they squander them? How many times did they fall behind when they have a two touchdown lead? Probably not too many. Anyway, it took three. T- they had to score two times in the last three and a half minutes to push that to put that thing into overtime. So everything went there, and with and with, and with, this, and with the benefit of the specious roughing the pass, roughing the pass call. Oh, that so was I, the worst. I, I thought they were quite fortunate to win that game. They looked like they were laboring at the end. I think the Chiefs had trouble stopping the run, and I'd say, look, I thought the Chiefs team wants to play better. It didn't. I thought that Mahomes put the fear of God in them, and, and the, the Patriots made the plays at the end, and that's fantastic. But they hey, not, Tom, they, they were Tom. four and five road team. They've given up thirty four on the road. What they go to Kansas City? What's the final? I can't. 37, 30, 31 at Kansas City, 34 at Tennessee, uh, 26 at Detroit, and 34 somewhere else. I'm trying to think of the game. They had a road game they lost. So Dolphins. Right away. Don't look Dolphins. at your screen. Do you think the refs are biased, pro or anti patriot? And, the- and, and then look at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? Am I missing something on that? Yeah, it's it's in the chat. Uh, uh, it's the uh, you know the uh, the referees and the whole you know. Yeah, yeah. Now I see it. He gets the benefit of a lot of uh, a lot of cool, no question. So Tom, what I think you sent me something that there was something available for Rams minus three and a half, almost doing it two to one. So does that mean that you're almost like doing a teaser or something like that? No, 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 no. I mentioned that two weeks ago. I was looking to do that, uh, you know, I, I, because I know that, look, I mean, desperate men do desperate things, right? We all know that. Uh, uh, I, I got some off uh, the other night. Whenever I texted you, I texted you, Larry was on Bloomberg Radio. I got, nice. a piece off, I, got, I got a piece off of two to one. I laid three and a half with the Rams. I took two to one. 
I make this game Rams two and a half. The way I'm looking at it, that point's worth about that point's worth about uh, forty cents. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting. So I'm giving up forty cents, but I'm getting a dollar back. So I'm getting, in my mind, well, my numbers, I'm sixty cents to the good. Well, well, but the actual yeah. line right now is Patriots minus three or two and a half right now, right? Yes, that's correct. So you're basically selling six points or so. Yes, but you got to realize what, 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 look at the points I'm selling. Ones and twos and zeros don't mean anything, right? I'm with you, yeah. Right? I mean, my, my the, the, the it's nightmare. Almost like a, it's almost like a one game, one game teaser or something. Right, well, but, uh, but, but, but I'm getting paid. I'm getting two to one. Absolutely, yeah. Which is why I like it. I think the Rams should be two and a half, lay 10 cents. I make them a hard two and a half. A I wonder three. how much yeah. you, how much could you get? You think if you made it six and a half, if you did Rams minus six and a half, right. get crazy. Right. Touch money I think I want spread. I love that. I think I want like a little bit more ugh, to go up that three point. I think I want about three and change, three and a quarter. Yeah. Three, yeah, three, three to one. Like the seven, yeah, the seven and a half. You'd want a lot more. Because now you're going, you know, oh, three seven and, and a half is a I huge jump. Yeah, huge jump. Right, so if I go from two and a half to three and a half, what numbers am I going through? A two, a one, a zero, a one, a two. Three is the only number that matters. So that's why when you see people bet teasers, like the novice will tease in between the threes, you want to make the numbers work for you, right? Games typically, typically don't land one or two, right? And this, one's, this one isn't landing zero as far as, I, as far as I know. I don't know if it's relevant anymore, but I remember years ago, uh, actually, I used to... <laughs> make book uh in, in in my dorm and uh um uh we, we worked out the math and someone smarter than me helped me out with it but basically a touchdown was like two to one odds uh, uh we kind of when we used to make up money lines on that but uh, uh, uh like you said it's digital you can't have one and a half points involved yeah but this is what the way i'm looking at it See, i'm not going through key numbers that's what you think i'm going through garbage numbers right ones and twos mean nothing so I'm, I'm, these, these, these points don't cost me anything. If I think the Rams are going to win the game, I've got to think they can win by a field goal, right? Yep. I mean, if you think the Patriots are going to win the game, I mean, this is why I always say, well, I'm going, to, you know, I'm going to put the Patriots on the money line. Why would you do that? Why would you lay 40 cents on the money line and lay 10 cents and laying two and a half? Were you worried about the game for landing one or two? But why don't you go look at how many games with a two and a half point number, a two, a two and a half, a two, or a one and a half point number land two? You know, <laughs> not too many. Why would you give up 30 cents for that? That's retarded. It doesn't make any sense. You know, find how many games land one and two when they're, when they're priced between, you know, one and two and a half. Are you going to pay You're going to pay 30 cents for that? All right. Here's the next question for you, Tom. You've scanned uh, many of the prop bets. Are, is there anything that st sticks out? I told you. I made this bet every year. And it's out there. Tails? You can bet. You've got positive expected value. Will will Tom Brady's first pass be complete or incomplete? Yeah, I love this. Okay. And Jared Goff, same deal, incomplete or complete. All right, I go complete, I, complete. They're throwing nice conservative passes. I'm um, incomplete on both. Wow. Follow the rationale. I get two to one. I get a dollar eighty. Two to one on Brady, dollar eighty on Goff. I already bet it. Okay. Okay. They're both sixty-five percent passes. All right. Now you're familiar with binomial tree. 65% twice, right? They had, the odds of them completing both passes, 65, you know, 65 squared, roughly 42 and change, 43%, right? Okay. There's a 43% chance I lose 200. If I, if I bet 100 and 100, there's a 43% chance I lose 200 dollars. Okay? So that's negative 86. All right, 43% of 200. Okay. Conversely, there's a 35 times 65. So thirty, you know, thirty, you know, thirty-five percent times sixty-five percent of what about twenty? Uh, was that nineteen and a half and five? About twenty-two, twenty-three percent, twenty-three percent chance that I make a hundred Brady, two hundred. I make two hundred on Brady being incomplete. I lose a hundred on Goff. Twenty-three percent chance I make a hundred. There's a twenty-three percent, twenty-three percent chance I make eighty. So twenty percent of hundred is twenty-three. Twenty-three and eighty is right twenty dollars, right? So I'm twenty-three plus twenty is forty-three. I'm minus eighty-six on the other side, plus forty-three. Now if the, the odds of them both being incomplete. Is 35 squared, right? The inverse of 65 squared. 35 squared is about 13. Am I, am I, am I, is that about right? 40, I'm just trying to think. 43. It's about uh, 
about 12 percent, right? 35, 10 and a half, and yeah, about 12 percent. Yeah, we, we round it to 11, 11 and a half or something like that. Right. In that case, I would get 380. So I'd make 12 percent of 380 is, is 12 percent is 380 is about 46 bucks. So I get 46, 20, and 23. That's 89. I lose 86. I have positive expected value. It's a good bet. I've made it every year. I've never lost. I haven't lost once. And there you go. Now I'm advertising. That and we'll right there off. is some options math for you on Thursday in the options uh, options class. Options. It's a good play. It's a good play. Write it down. Follow it. See what happens. You know what? You made perfect sense. You detailed your rationale perfectly. And I'll still take the other side of that. <laughs> that's quite. That's why there's a market. <laughs> and he loves that. There's a market, buddy. But, I'm but, seeing. But, but, okay, fair, first play of the game is a four yard out to Edelman. Uh, to Edelman, completed. I, I played that. Look, Tom, look. He, and the I same thing to Cook. Well, the four yard out, the, the screen pass, get the momentum. Listen to his response to that, and it kind of like converted me. Yeah, that's. Just, yeah, keep going. Keep going, Mike. What about any other prop bets, uh, Tom? I love think, that one, so I'll be on the lookout for incomplete, incomplete. I think he tried that last year, and the ball skidded in front of Edelman. <laughs> you got to realize. God forbid. And it, was, it, it, it might have been a six-yard out to Edelman, so it was, it, it was really testing his, the outer limits of his arm, of his arm strength. Uh, but yeah, that's how he went incomplete. Falls with the guy who had the completed pass. Um, any other prop bets? Yeah, here's what I like. You ready for this one? Yeah. You want his, his, his recency bias? Do you think Gurley's okay? Yeah, I do. Okay, you can get him plus fifteen and a half yards against Sonny Michelle. Rushing yards. Yeah, I like that a lot. But you know, the rushing yards also comes down to though a lot of who do you think is going to win? Thus, who's going to be running the ball more in the second half, sort of thing. Like if uh, absolutely, absolutely. And that's also part of your bias. You think the Rams are, uh, you know, going to win. And But I like that, yeah. Plus 15 and a half. Wow. Plus, look at it. Look at it. I'm not, if I'm lying, I'm dying. That's Plus amazing. 15. Gurley could still be the MVP of the NFL. And I would, I would call this a toss job. Yeah. Think about that. It's just shocked that he's plus 15. Crazy. I mean, it's out there. Mm. Well, you know, how, you know how it is. The eighty percent of the Mike, people. I think Tom's the actual bookie on this stuff, man. Oh, I, I know <laughs> it's out there, but you know what it is. Also, Gurley, the past two games, his his role has declined, which is that's why you asked, is he healthy or not? I mean, who knows? I mean, the guy's a beast. Well, that's it. If you think he's healthy, it's a definite, it's a no brainer, right? At least he's had a good fourteen days oh. off. Right. And now, I mean, then you were, on the other side is you're assuming that the Patriots have become this power running team based off the last two weeks. Now, the Chargers were missing linebackers and linemen. They missed Legion. They missed uh, Donzel Perryman and Jatavis Brown, two linebackers. They had cluster injuries in the front seven. The Chiefs were poor against the run all year, giving up 130. Rams have been, sto have been stoning the run the last two weeks, facing, one, albeit one of the, you know, arguably one of the best running teams in the, football, in the league, in, in the Saints. They held the Saints at 50. They held Dallas to about 50. So, I think it's going to be tough sledding trying to run the interior of that Ram line. The Patriots have never been a great running team. They're a great running team against garbage. We'll see. I, I, I'll be surprised they have big I like that game. one. Is that is that what you said, the plus 15? Is that straight up, or is that like minus 150 or something? Uh, I think they're both. you got to lay 10 cents when I have one. I just saw That's, that right there is the pick of the weekend, I think. Good play. I think it is. All right, guys, I got to jump. All right, Tom, thank you very much. Vince, thank you. We'll Thanks, talk to you Tom. guys later. Take care, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the game, fellas.